Is Fallout invited? Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 you know, it's a champion's choice to be invited. To yeah, no, of course they're invited. Yeah, well. Very well. You can, what, you what, what? your friend in the kitchen, if nothing else. What? Yeah. Who, who's invited? Everyone. Oh. I'll grab Luciana then. <laughs> Do you let Brit Brit bring her sister? No. Oh, what? Why? No. She she got... private dinner with the Empress. <laughs> I, I can only, you know, this is the Empress's private dinner. I can you, only bring people said... I know. I don't know her. You said invite whoever you want. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I can do. Damn it. You arrive. You arrive. You have, you have, you have the Empress's grand dining room. We're only to yourself as well. See, all the wow. servants, all the diplomats. E even the spy master is not allowed in today. Ah, fuck you, spy master. Suck it, spy master. <laughs> Where's Laura? We need to drag him into this. Ah, uh, yeah. Laurel seems Laurel seems to be busy with work. No, no, no. He's he's coming. We're we're physically dragging him to this place. We have okay. To... He's going to work on the dining table. <laughs> no, he's not. He's that is something eat. Laurel would do, admittedly. He's gonna be. He's gonna eat and he's gonna be social. Well, he can't talk. That's that's make it more appropriate. Jonas, he cannot talk, man. <laughs> no, that's fine. Maybe maybe he, he's got like a toothache or something right now. He's like, oh, so, uh. yeah, but he can't reply to anything. He can listen. Yeah, you can listen, but he can't nod or anything. He can nod. So, no, he... <sighs> Raphael so, will make will make signs to Laurel so he can he knows when to nod. Let us have a toast to your victory, Raphael. <laughs> Raphael smiles, takes the takes the glass, and uh, says, "Why, thank you." Uh, you know, raises it to to the other. Rips, smiles, and raises the glass. What am I missing? We're Toast. toasting. Toast. We're toasting. Sure. Toast. Does, does Bollard join the toast? Sure. What what what, what drinks would you what, what drinks would you have you ordered? Uh, Raphael has uh, has ordered up uh, one of those uh, few bottles of uh, of uh, of uh, summer wine that he likes so much, and there are very few left. She still because, has one lying around, though. Yeah, because that colony got destroyed horribly. So, <laughs> unfortunate business, isn't it? Yes. But now we're drinking some of the wine. So I felt Alchemied. Sure. Red dose of Alchemied. She actually has some of those in, her set, in a wine cellar. Oh, wow. A, a nice uh, bottle of wine. The, wine's, the wine cellar is bigger than someone's house. <laughs> ale. Just regular old ale. Fair enough. The, the, the dwarven chef will find, his, will find something appropriate. Riff will just ask for uh, some wine. Nice wine. Very well. She's been to the wine alley in the gold district. Laura can be given some alchemy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, you'll you'll toast and enjoy, and all I mean, whatever you might want to order from the kitchen is brought out. Mm. Sure. Bollard, if wanted, can make his own meat. Sure. Yeah, you know, if Bollard feels like he wants to cook instead of being served food. No, <laughs> we have, no we have not a... now. He cooks too much all the rest of the time. Okay. We have we have the okay, master. So Dwarven chef will will make something for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Riff will go with the sh uh, with the uh, chef's choice. The so chef's choice. Yeah. Oh. Riff, you know, You're given something uh, truly exotic. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> chef's choice. This this dwarf has decided it's the chef's choice. Um, he's he's give he's given you um, stir fried giant worm. Stir fried giant worm. Alright, at, at that riff, we'll say, uh, Yeah, I didn't know that was on the menu. So, uh. She can prepare anything he wants. You know, riff, riff will be polite, but refuse and ask for something ordinary like uh, venison or something. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> he, he, prepares, he prepares you a nice fish. Fish, alright. That's, that's fine. No one ever wants a giant worm, he says. It's just, it's just a giant worm. <laughs> Why would I want to eat a giant worm? Chat recommends monkey head. Monkey head? Chat recommends monkey head. I don't know. From the Imperial Kitchen's infinite cupboard. Yeah. It's just a bag of holding, isn't it? A giant bag of holding. You know, the pantry might be its own demi-plane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, for all you know. You know as, as, as the night goes along, you enjoy your dinner. Yes. You know, it's, it's made nice and lively. The Empress pulls an entertainers at one point. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Be a, para a, a group of fire dancers. Oh. Aha! Aha! Come well, in we'll and start the dance quite intently. The, the, the flames go daringly close to Raphael. Some people think he would almost burn him for a second, but they know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Raphael will, uh, will uh, of course, uh, talk. He, he will brag. You know, he's, he's not above bragging. Uh. That's kind of what he does. Well, at this point, I'm, I think Raphael is not scared of some fire because Riff's thrown fireballs around him. Yeah, so. and he was fighting in an arena full of lava. So. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking so. forward of the Fist of Flames. I yeah. did fight the Fist of Flames. Fist of Flames. Raphael <laughs> will ask how the Fist of Flames are doing. <laughs> he, said, he said he's going for an increased training regimen tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's also welcome to come to come to the uh, to come to the Sapphire Hall to train. There will be a lot of people there now in the coming days, yeah. a lot of uh, experts and arena champions yeah. and stuff. The Empress may commission a few um, battles. Battles with you. Sure. He, need, he, need, he, need, he, needs to be he needs to be better at taking you down. He, he, was, he was able to bet, best your dodge more but better than she was, but... Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I, I think I might add another, another fighting wing to the Sapphire Hall at this point to like capitalize on this more martial success. Yeah, and the fire, the fire dancer moves through. You get, some, you get some nice calm music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Raphael will explain, of course, that uh, it, it would be, he can give tips and, and tricks, uh, you know, uh, talk to the, uh, and, and train with the, um, with the Lord General, of course, but to be, uh, to be really trained and in the Raphael's, uh, you know, uh, sword, sword, school of swording, <laughs> fencing techniques, you need to be trained from, uh, from when you're quite young, actually, you know, you need to have a malleable psyche. The Lord General has the exact opposite. Yeah, I know. It it seems his his, his, determ his determination is legendary. Yeah, he seems like the like a charging rhino. It seems to be him. Mm, I don't know about charging rhino, but mm, it's close enough. A flaming mammoth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a flaming tyrannosaurus. Maybe now is the time to actually go out and take out that damn black dragon that's living close to the city. <laughs> I think that's bigger uh, of a threat. Pretty than, big. Than most of those guys put together, right? <laughs> um, um, yeah, the, emp the Emperor's towards the end of the meal. Or mm -hmm. at, you know, once the meal's over and you're just having general chit-chat. Mm. Yep. She, um, she, she rises from her seat for a moment and excuses herself. Oh, of course. She walks out the room. And then she, and then she comes back in with a, um, a black box. Uh, and takes a seat. Uh, do, do, does Raphael recognize the black box? No. Mm. I've never seen such black box before. I don't like black boxes, guys. There, isn't, there is no markings in the book, it's just a pure black box. Rift generally doesn't like boxes. Why? The other magical one that we have would destroy all of magic. <laughs> generally, she doesn't like that sort of shit. just two of them? I hope not. I made another one. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the upper one, so I got this one. This is, this is, the, false, <laughs> this is the false arm. Oh. She looks oh. across the table. Raphael. Raphael nods. Yes. I believe a little while ago, you had some questions you wanted to give to me. <gasps> Raphael nods. You know, suddenly quite serious. He says, "Yes, I did." She glares across. Well, time for the real purpose of this meeting, then. Let's get this over with. Riff dun, dun. looks very confused. Is she going to spill the beans? She gestures for you to go first. Speak what's on your mind, Raphael. <clears throat> well... Raphael sort of uh, clears his throat and says, uh, do you want me to repeat the questions then? Yes. He sort of looks around, nods slowly and says, very well, <clears throat> swallowing visibly. Riff maybe kinda... maybe giving sort of a, a, a sideward glance towards like Bollard and Rith who are close to basically like get ready because this might actually get pretty hairy. Right. Um, if we are unlucky. Riff sits up a little bit. <laughs> he said, "Well, at the uh, at the diplomatic summit, there were some allegations raised against the uh, 
legitimacy of the current rule of the empire. And some uh, further accusations were made against uh, you, Empress, and how you came into power. It was said that it was you who financed the assassination of the, um, of the former emperor. Uh, I looked into this as well and found some yeah, disturbing uh, uh, disturbing facts, uh, hints and whatnot. It was not easy, but as from what I have gathered, it seems to me, as sort of look straight at the Empress, that you somehow viewed the former Emperor's wife as a traitor to the realm. And that you took steps to have her removed. But something went wrong. The attempt escalated or went out of control or something happened and the entire family got killed. I want to know, and the rest of us, I would imagine, would want to know what actually happened that night, Empress. Because we have put ourselves in harm's way for you and for this empire on numerous times. We have bled and died for this empire. And I think we want to know what actually happened. Why did you, f did you take these steps? What went wrong? He looks at her. Members take the take the sip from her wine. We uh, we are still your friends, Empress, but it has been uh, difficult to remain so under the current circumstances. Well, the first thing I'll say is all the things you have mentioned are in, well, not, not, not trying to push anything true. <laughs> Riff kind of just slouches forward a little bit and puts her hand on her head. Kind of rubs her temples a bit. Did you just say it's kind of true? Yeah. yeah. Not so trying to push it, but it's true. Zoe so stands up, looks at her very angrily. You should probably let her continue yeah, speaking. Yeah. R I know, Riff will... I know. As you, as you said, I never ha I never had an interest in def def defrauding my brother or anything that happened, or a lot of the things that happened that night. It was it was the it was the queen that was the issue. And what kind of issue was the queen? There were ma there were many things the queen was going after that she shouldn't have tried, like being actually nice. She was only nice on the outside. There, there are there are people that there are people that hide their malicious plans be behind a smile and kind words. Like you. Uh, she has never been kind or smiled. <laughs> you can, that, that you can actually not pin on her. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't try to hide her maliciousness. She is malicious. She she went she did she did many things behind the emperor's back. I'm sure I'm sure you I'm sure you've discovered the siphoning of funds, which was the first thing that keyed me off. Funds, yes, as uh, as my investigations have brought up, she apparently embezzled uh, quite a lot of money from the state for uh, some project that I I am not exactly sure what. Tremendous amount she funneled back to our home colony. The Alban Isles. Nods. Uh, why? Who knows? Sense of patriotism? Loyalty to her family who was ruling it? Who knows? She was doing this from before they were even part of the Empire itself. And only... It was a foreign nation who was on decent terms. Raphael nods slowly. So she embezzled a lot of the state funds uh, to her home country very well, but uh, that doesn't seem enough to warrant such extreme measures, Empress. 
attacking a kid, your brother, actually killing I, a little kid. I, I, no, I, I never arranged for, the, for it to go that way. The, 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 the assassins, unfortunately, had a hiccup. Which is your fault to begin with. The, assa the assassins were my fault. The hiccup, not so much. Well, you send them there, so yes, it is your fault. No, she never planned for the hiccup. Well, she, she's no, not really avoiding. She, she put not, them Zoe, in danger. Zoe, calm yourself and let the Empress speak. Yeah, Why she's the not fuck avoiding. Would I do that. She's not avoiding blame. Because if she can, yeah, she's she's not avoiding the blame. If you just let her finish talking, she can explain she's, how she's everything went, and her, then we can form an opinion. She's simply saying her intention wasn't that po point. I think we should just kill her now and get it over with. And I think you should sit down and let her talk. Mm -hmm. As you want. As as it went on, I continued to investigate her when I found this out, gathering as much proof as I could, ready t to bring her to light. And then something else came up. As as my as my as my digging continued, apparently I wasn't the only one with connections to assassins. I found some more dark things in our family tree. I don't know if any of you have seen our um, family tree in a while. Riff nods. Uh, there maybe is... a, a refresher for the people who don't have it memorized. A large, a large part of it, well, a, lo a lot of it is completely, a lot of it is blanked with missing people and the dead. A scary amount, actually. Riff nods and says, uh, I believe only a couple survive. And, and the couple well, live I'm in the, the only, city. I'm the, only, I'm the only one left, aren't I not? Riff nods. And... <laughs> The X frowns slowly. I, you, you, you could argue the X, pr X prince, I suppose. So he holds no power. And you think the former queen had something to do with this? I have. I am. I have more than think. I, I saw her. I saw her conversing payment with one. Most most notably, our our, our off fa our off family. There was a pair of sib. There was a pair of. There was, I, had my, I had on one of our off branches, quite far off. My cousins, what would it be? Twice removed. Both of them went missing and are still missing to this day. Presumed dead at this point. They, they went, they went, they went missing in a, um, a, a terrible accident. Where their ship just vanished at sea. Well, vanished right, right next to a camp, which I discovered was, which I which I discovered she had travelled, which our queen had travelled to day, days beforehand with, a, beforehand with a carriage full of money. You can you can see where this is going. Fell nods slowly and says, "Do you have any proof to back these claims up? Proof, material, material proof? No." I frowns. I, I, I saw things that definitely prove this. But I have no I have no proof to simply hand on to you. Okay, my father nods slowly. She looks across the table. Got any more questions you want me to answer? Her hand is still sitting on the black box. <laughs> looking at the box. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't done anything, she hasn't done anything with it, it's just sitting there. Riff looks at the box as well. So you you claim that he sort of frowns that the former queen was siphoning off large amounts of money home to her home colony. We don't know why, or do we?
Riff nods and says, uh, so she siphoned the money, arranged numerous assassinations and uh, missing person acts, and this all led you to killing off the rest of the family that lay in your path to becoming empress. I, s I, simply, I simply sent assassins after her. The assassins, unfortunately, ran into an unfortunate problem. Which was? Apparently, the Queen was ready for assassins, and had, and, and had guards that were not on the normal register. Mercenary guards with her. Hmm. The mercenary guards got into a struggle with, with the assassins, as far as I know, which caused a fire, which... you know the rest. Riff nods, and says... Okay, and then you seized power. Well, the the other option was let the entire empire fall into anarchy. Griffin hunts and says, "In there's not a lot of choices there." In that case, no. But there's no physical proof that the old uh, that the old queen did this, and we're in the unfortunate position of legally you are. A kind of, not to show disrespect, but a, a traitor. As, even though the old queen was as well. She kind of frowns and says, it rubs her temples again and says, this really is an awkward situation. Um, Raphael frowns and says, it is... Certainly a very interesting claim, and in a way I can certainly sympathize. The, all, the alternative would have been to, well if all this is true of course, to leave the, either keep the empire in, in the hands of someone who clearly wanted to, sort of, frowns. Well, wipe out a large amount of the royal family. And send a lot of funds to enemies and whatnot, uh, or to take action. I, I, did you ever try to talk to your brother? Yes, I tried on several occasions, actually. However, he was, he was, too, he was too overwhelmed with his loving relationship to listen, to listen to reason. Right. Too, in, too in swooned by her to consider her anything but the perfect angel she left her persona to be. Riff nods and says, uh, without, phys and without physical proof, there is no way I, there is no way to convince someone so in swooned by love. Ravel frowns and says, "It, it is a lot to swallow. The former queen was quite popular to." To, to accuse her of being a black-hearted snake is quite strong. Riff nods and says, uh, if, if in the case that what you found was completely true, then following the rest of the... Uh, uh, following the rest of the uh, rest of the actions that pursued, um, Correct course of, you know, of course, was to take the throne. But uh, the actions that led to this were all accidental and uh, convenient for a, uh, a certain uh, a certain person of our mutual enemy to be able to uh, to stick her hand into. I'm sure. Ow, I wouldn't have the foggiest idea, but uh, this all seems too coincidental for me to not see this millennia old witch getting in, uh, into this. Raphael frowns. We cannot blame the witch for everything, honestly. Riff not. She is, she is a nuisance, but he sort of motions to the Empress. I don't want to get this disrespectful. Uh, either, but if the Empress says she actually remembers this, hmm. other episodes that have happened that have been strange, the Empress has claimed not to remember. If she remembers this, I don't think the 
which was involved, at yeah. least not in, in that area of it. I cannot speak for no, the former queen, of course, but I, people can be evil without being mind controlled. Riff nods and says, no, I just feel that uh, the course of events, the accidents that happened, they they just seem a little too coincidental to uh, lend up to being a, a, a mass murder of numerous of the royal family, which, from what I've seen, is her ultimate goal, right? She kind of shrugs. Says, uh... I don't way. know... I don't know about her ultimate goal. The only thing I know is that we have fought and bled and died in, in trying to stop her. Roof nods. And says, I, either way, we seem to have come to the point where uh, we can't really change the past now, can we? She riff kind of friends. No, Raphael nods. I, it is still quite a lot to take in. Riff nods. Sort of looks at looks at the box again, frowning. Mm. Um, Riff kind of uh, kind of quietly looks to uh, to uh, Raphael and Bollard and looks to the doors, a bit concerned. <laughs> you know, we can uh, find our way. We can teleport out of here if we need to. Back. But um, did uh, for, I forgot? Did the Empress says you had no evidence whatsoever? Yeah. She no. She couldn't find any physical evidence of anything other than money stealing. Uh, that is certainly a problem. We could, I mean, we we could like scan her brain. <laughs> like we we have spells for that certainly. And like we, with Laurel here, he can certainly. I doubt she will accept that. <laughs> sure, but Laurel, I mean, he doesn't need to do anything. Like over this dinner, he can certainly concentrate and just like read her surface thoughts and stuff. Like see yeah, but the surface thoughts are the same thing she's gonna be saying to you. So yeah, yeah, the surface thoughts are gonna be the same. But but they can they can be like oh now I'm fooling all of them. Ho ho ho, you know it could be something. I suppose. We can... The the thing is, we we it would be nice with some form of proof to back this up. We have, I mean, I guess we can like use commune or something like that to ask the gods if this is correct. Like this version of the story is actually correct. Mm. We could. Uh, it's a way to do it. Um, Riff also has a fancy candle that. Uh... Uh, oh no, I don't have that. Do I? Yeah, I do. Might sold it. Did I? I might have sold it. Uh, yeah, I might have sold it. But then, you know, Zoe has a touchy, touchy of truth. I don't think you should touch the Empress. <laughs> I don't think Zoe should touch the Empress. No, not, not after. I think she, I think she wants the... to whack the Empress with that bust. <laughs> <laughs> the bust of herself. She brings, up, brings up the bust, yeah. Break my vow now! Ah! By the power of the bus compels you. <laughs> I mean, while the Empress is eating dinner, I think she counts as flat-footed, but... Yeah, that's sort of true. <laughs> now is the time to strike. I don't think Zoe or Riff could hit her. No. Ever. No. <laughs> National 20. Um, Natural 20, no. I mean, I know for a fact that the Empress is not evil. Yeah. I've checked that. We know that. Thoroughly. She's also lawful. Yeah, she's, she's probably lawful neutral. Yeah, but, well... Zoe checked everything, and it was like, there's no good, there's no evil, but there is lawful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, lawful I, action. um, I, I, yeah, we, we need, we need, it's, it's an interesting story. We need to double check it somehow. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do that. I, again, I mean, the only thing I can come up with is either the Empress goes into Zone of Truth and does the, does it that way for us, it could certainly work. Uh, I mean, she only needs to speak the truth about these matters. Uh, after that, like the spell effect would end. So, yeah. well, that's, that's certainly a way for it to to for for us to be sure. Um, other than that, commune or delve into the emperor's emperor's mind and check her memories, which is probably the most effective, but also the most impossible option. Yeah. I think Zone of Truth would be the most useful. Entirely. There's no chance of us diving into her mind and fetching wrong memories. I mean, yeah, we used Commune before, we can certainly do that to sort of back it up, but would the, would the Empress uh, agree to a Zone of Truth thing? Touch of Truth. Fun, from. Fun, funny enough, 
You see, you see her. You see, you see her pull out a candle of truth. Oh, there we go. Okay. Riff, Riff, Riff can inspect like it if she wants to. Yeah, yeah, Riff will do that. It is the candle of truth. The only problem with it, with it is if she asks anything of us. But you don't have to answer. You just, you just suppose, say nothing. Yeah. Yeah, we just yeah, we say just, nothing. Uh, Alright. Yeah, sure. We, we're not being questioned here. No. We, if, yeah, if, sure. if, she, if she starts diverging from a topic, we will just, you know, sniff, snuff out a candle and be like, well, <laughs> that was that session. Yeah, sure. Riff will light the candle and place it in front of her. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the radius is wide enough to reach the whole table. Yeah. Yeah, so Riff will have it in front of her, her ready to blow out. The table's not actually that big, you yeah. know. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Not this one. And then I guess we just get her to restate what she said. Um, tell the story again. Yeah. From the beginning. But she will go. She will go through. She will go through everything. Saying it word for word. Mm. Okay. Well, Riff, being satisfied, looks to Raphael and Bollard. Raphael looks over to Riff. He doesn't know how that cattle works. <laughs> Riff kind of nods and says, "Well, I didn't say anything wrong." Okay. Raphael nods slowly, mm -hmm. and and then said, "So." So okay, so all right. So she she discovers that the queen is some sort of black-hearted assassin maniac. Bitch, yeah. Yeah, she's stealing money and killing off family, like the imperial family. Yeah. Okay. Weird. All right. So she sends assassin after her, mm -hmm. but then when her assassins get here, the queen's own assassins are lying in wait. And then the huge kerfuffle starts a fire. Yeah, it was a huge. <laughs> chaotic maelstrom of happenings. A disco inferno. A disco inferno happens. That leads to the queen getting killed. Burning. But also uh, her assassins. Like or was it everyone else. Like everybody the entire, dies. Basically the entire main palace burned. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like everybody inside it dies. <laughs> yeah. Effectively. Everyone of note at least. Do we know if the uh, if the queen's assassin when when the first one like did they use the empress's assassin as a cover to take out or to, to try to take out the rest of their royal family or did like did they all die in the fire? Like for well, someone, the... someone clearly survived. I mean, you you as players know the fact that you know one of them managed to pull William out. Yeah, time. someone pulled William out. So, so someone survived. But then, other than um. You know, other than other than Cole Room, someone else survived. You're not sure who, but someone else survived. Mm. And they managed to get they managed to get back to the Black Lotus eventually. Yeah. After about a year. But then, you know, doesn't really help any. I, uh, well, okay. Well, I guess we're uncovering. What this, do do we know? Uh, like, does the Empress know what assassins she actually hired? Was it the Black Lotus she hired, or was she it... did hire the Black Lotus? Hmm. Okay. So, her employees managed to get William. Did. Hmm. But they kept William hidden from her. Yeah, Riffle. Riffle. For like, how many years was it? Like. It was, it, was a, it was a it was a it was a full like year before year or two before. Yeah. Mm. Because I think we checked that he was like Yeah, you know, it was probably like a thing. She she hasn't yeah. yeah, she hasn't actually she doesn't actually know who he is. Yeah. No, no, well well she or didn't. Who he was. We we think she she didn't know when she bought him bought him back yeah. from Yeah, him. yeah that's what didn't I mean. Realise who he was. Because at that point he was like five or something, and yeah, the last kid. time she visited the when was the last time? Like from her storytelling and stuff, can we discern? He was like a baby, wasn't he? Yeah, can we discern like in our in our heads when she actually last saw William? Probably, probably when he was at most like a year old. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you won't recognize a one year old when you no. see when you see him again as like a three or four year old. Yeah. Exactly. 
They were not the same. Babies kind of look a lot, lot alike. Especially yeah. if they aren't yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they all like, look I alike. I don't really. You can't yeah, go. She, she kind of. She was kind of locked in the cold north for a while. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's. Riff satisfied. Riff satisfied with this. Um, yeah. Were the oh, let's see if I remember correctly who, so William disappeared. Did the other kid also disappear, or did we actually find a kid. find a body? Oh, there was only William. Yeah, yeah there was only. There was, there was there was William and there was Colroon. Colroon was found outside the fire, badly burnt but survived. Yeah, right. And he was the only survivor. Yeah. yeah. All the all the servants, all the guards, all them burned alive. Yeah, Colroon was did, the only one to survive. So we never found the bodies of the old emperor and the queen. Um. Their bodies were their bodies were found, but they were just like they were completely charred corpses. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Did did anyone do any confirmation that they were actually their bodies? Yeah, it was def it was definitely them. Okay. They confirmed that much. Yeah. They couldn't really get any information though. Yeah, the bodies were too badly damaged to do anything with. Yeah. Mm. Other than being buried. Yeah. Huh. Or in their case, entombed. Well. Hmm. Combination. Well, combination, of it, I guess. You generally you you entomb the emperor, but you bury the queen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there any but... other nasty truths that you want to learn? <laughs> um, yeah, the empress is tapping her finger against a black box. Was yeah. was the king in on it? Like king. The, did the king the, know the, the kingy? It? Yeah, it was king in on this whole the plot. The, king, well, uh, the, the only thing Kingy had involved was I may have um, well I may have nudged him a little bit and asked for a little bit extra money yeah okay sure you laundered him yeah alright yeah. you know you know, you know be, being the br being the br being the bride of um, being the bride of someone in line to be a, be a duke was not very well paying yeah yeah <laughs> I suppose so. All Much right, so, like being an imperial arcanist. So, <laughs> <laughs> cough, cough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not getting a raise, Raphael. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe Raphael is getting a raise. Um, you, Raphael. Raphael, you just you, Raphael. I don't think you need a raise. I think your business will pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> Raphael is well well paid. Yes. Um, okay. So to summarize, she finds out the queen is a is a bitch. Kills her. Goes to take her out. Uh, the queen has her own troops waiting. A huge fight happens. Everything burns. Everything burns. William's taken. Colrin uh, survives. The, yeah. The empire is thrown into disarray because the imperial family is just taken out. Yeah, she takes control. And the empress takes uh, takes control. Yeah. I mean, she. I can certainly confirm that she has been genuinely upset about the fact that her brother and the kid died. I. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that she wanted the queen to die because she was a, she wanted the empire basically to fall from the sound of things, slowly mm. but surely. And she wanted to take her out. It just so happened that all hell broke loose and the entire palace set up into a blaze and killed everybody. Right. So I think... I mean, yeah. we, can, we can certainly be judgmental about the fact that she sent assassins after her, like... Yeah. But if you have no solid but, proof, that's the only thing you can really do. I mean, I can I can appreciate the gravity of the situation. I mean, we as a group have have kind of acted in similar fashions against against certain yeah certain people. You guys have to admit, you guys have acted rashly before. Yeah, yeah. we have. I mean, we we forcefully took over a a, um, a district. Yeah. She she wasn't even doing anything near that bad. She was just forcefully. Trying to remove somebody from uh, from position. Yeah, what 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 increases the situation is the fact that the person was already in a high position. Yeah, and she she wasn't wanting to take that position. She just wanted to get the person on that position off. And uh, yeah. if anything, we've we've possibly done a lot worse than her. <laughs> it, I mean, it she, on she how you look at it. Sure. She, yeah, but she has also. I mean, you know, we. The, the, she is. She's an empress. In one point, she. 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 I don't. I don't know. You can't. 
I certainly appreciate. Well, to be fair, the, she uh, wasn't at the time. Yeah. No, it's true. But I, I certainly appreciate the the problems of statesmanship. You know, at some point you need to screw someone over, which we learned yesterday, if nothing else. <laughs> but sometimes someone mm. needs to get shafted. Yeah. Do we want to shaft a god or do we want to shaft the populace? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I, I guess I can understand her reasons. Yeah, so can I. What was in the box, by the way, that she's tapping on? Yeah, she hasn't said oh, yet. Oh, don't worry about this. <laughs> it's oh, my I'm doom worrying box. about it. Yeah, being, what, yeah, you're tapping When you it. say it in that tone of voice, it's... What, uh... what, what's in the box? Let's put it this way, you don't want me to open this box. Oh, what's it's her, like... I do? <laughs> I mean, are you sure? No! Can you, can can you tell me what is in it? What's in it? Like... I... well... Keep tapping it, what's in that box? <laughs> It's it's hard it's hard to explain what's in it. <laughs> Since it is the collected it horror of an entire plane. Raphael looks at the box, frowns at it, looks at the Empress. Is that a suicide device of sort? <laughs> sort of looking at the table. No, nothing bad will happen if I open the box. Well, not to me. He nods. I think I understand. And pre and preferably nothing bad would happen to you either. Unless you open the box. Well, opening the box. Preferably nothing bad would happen to you. Preferably. Preferably? That sounds like you don't ba have ba control. Basically, basically, she is realizing, or she realized that she's going to be alone with, with the five of us, and we could probably take her out. So she has brought her own nuke, in case. Yeah. In case we, re we try something. Mm. I, mean, I mean, you, you can understand the gravity of the situation, can't you? Mm. Yeah, Raphael nods, certainly. It is. <laughs> Riff kind of looks at the doors and says, is that why you've magically locked those? <laughs> it's like all the sapphire guards are outside. Well, it, this, this was a very delicate subject. I couldn't simply leave the doors unlocked, also with the ability of someone to listen in. This room is also warded, so no sound. None. Riff nods. Not even the Archmage can look into this room. You know, now we, we have currently two, uh, two players missing, so I can't really... I don't think we can... I can't, at least... We will not be continuing past this. You can yeah, and, yeah, exactly. I can't really speak for the group. Conversation, but ending it will end the session. Mm. Right, right. I think that we might want to end it around here because it might be that the two others might want to actually talk to the Empress as well and ask questions. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And it would, be, it would be good to give them the opportunity to do so, I think. Mm -hmm. Because I think, I, think, uh, I think a lot of us still have maybe some questions we want to ask. You can, mm. you can, always, use, you can always use the downtime to think about, like... What the hell do we need to ask? Yeah. As you t as she taps her nuke. Yeah. And we we have like we're we're sitting at the dinner table, but we all have have our guns, you know, under the table pointing at each other. You know. Well, Ballard, yeah. Ballard is the you, gun. You have a hammer. You have your fireball. You have your rapier. Uh, she has her. Everything. Statue. Healing. She has a statuette. Yeah. Of the empress to whack the empress with. The irony. Laurel has like bombs, I suppose. Yeah. Yep. Um, and the Empress has her sword and nuke. Yep. This is yep. really Mexican standoff, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, personally. I, I I buy the story, in a way. I'm like, yeah, that so seems... Much. Yeah. It, it, it's, it seems somewhat logical. It's 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 a lot yeah. of skullduggery and, like, cloak and dagger stuff, but, again, she's kind of an Empress, and, like, she's... <laughs> she's Imperial nobility. This is kind of what they do in a way. You gotta do some shady shit when you're high up. Yep. It's not like us. We can like if we were higher up, we couldn't have just done all the shit that we did in Northside. Yeah, we have, we have we done a lot of shady shit. Yeah, we would have had to be so shady about it. Oh, you don't even know. Like now, like, but that that, uh, that glade in the forest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is shady <laughs> shit. But you know, because what you what you guys are doing are the kind of things that would get some a foreign nation declaring war on you. Yeah. Don't uh, don't tell Zoe oh, about yeah, the glade no, in the sure. forest. <laughs> Nobody tells Zoe about the glade in the forest. She did she people. know about? Um, well, now she does because we're on the recording. And, well, well, Tina, did, you know, Tina might not so doesn't because yeah. they haven't told Zoe. Did, did Zoe true. know about um, Elaine getting getting killed? Oh yeah, no, she was in on it. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Because, right. because okay. Remember, remember, she was holding Elaine's uh, magic stone. Before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And she she gave it over to 
little surprised Zoe went with that, to be honest. She's, you know, she's lawful ruthless. Yeah, very ruthless. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah she's. I mean, Riff's chaotic, but damn. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, oh, no, we can tell. Don't worry. She just goes for the throat. Zoe goes for the, the point, throat. The point is, when she commits to death, she commits to death. Yeah. <laughs> no half measures here. <laughs> Yo, is, er, everything to Zoe is black and white. Death or not death. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Cake or death? <laughs> Can I have cake? <laughs> mm, we're all out of cake. We're all out of cake. Yeah. Oh, oh, open my box. We didn't well. expect such a rush, you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it, personally, I kind of buy the story. I, I, I buy I, it. I, don't. I, I buy it. To be completely honest. Do any of you think we should attack or like try to? <laughs> Not with her holding a nuke. No, no, no. But, but I mean, should we start like working against her now? Like, I don't see why. I don't in... think so. Not now. Not right now, at very least, because she's not. In all fairness, she attempted to save the empire from a heartless snake in the grass, and in doing so, ruined the empire. But mm -hmm. then has then brought it back into. Uh, yeah, what happened back. with the Civil War with Alentor again? Is that still That's like a thing? That's coming back on, I think. Okay. Right, right now, right now, the truce is held because neither side has decided to redeclare. But now the when truce is being over. When so did can't... the truce even happen? When uh, um, it happened on the uh, on the oh, diplomatic yeah. summit, uh, we. Oh, okay. Ra Basically Ra said Raphael will explain cool. that we we forced the truth uh, a truce because the allegations against the. Uh, the Empress was basically you. You can't be on the throne because you can't produce heirs, and also you uh, you you kill the the, uh, the old imperial like family on the throne. So you are you are a villain and should be stopped. And we kind of like well, the, those are serious allegations. Well, we need to uh, look into this. Let's take a break here. Yeah. yeah. It eventually, it eventually came down to let's let's just blame the king, get rid of, it, <laughs> and then maybe we can declare war. That's basically what we did. Like the king did it, and everyone was like, hmm, we should probably uh, look into this. Uh, uh, Riff's tempted to ask the Empress, so what are you going to do about the whole child thing? <laughs> do you want to open that can of worms? Oh, no, don't no, don't talk about that right not. now. Probably not. Well, she there, can't... there are degrees of cans of worms here. There's depressing ones and there's angry cans of worms. Which one do you want to open? Uh, yeah. Raphael is a good specimen. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> So uh, Andrew in the chat says that Raphael, Raphael is the most ideal trophy husband. <laughs> he is. He is. Uh, he should have a T-shirt like a like a, a with an open midriff that says like "Trophy Boy" on it. <laughs> trophy Boy. Riff can work on that. Riff can work <laughs> on that. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! This this is a whole different type of can of worms, really, isn't mm -hmm. it? But yeah, I, I don't think, personally, I don't see a reason to work to withdraw support of the Empress at this point, at least. Yeah. The, I mean, it was a major point of contention. I was quite surprised when I found out that she like, seemingly actually murdered yeah. but then, people. But, the, uh, but she, I mean, the explanation she's given us. Why is she happy to just tell us all this? Because because Raphael might have backed her into a corner and been like, "You need to tell me because God damn it, I have put my neck out for you so many times and so long, and like the whole group have like fought and bled and died for you, like you, you yeah, owe yeah. us you know, and with that kind of outcome, the alternative is either she could slay Raphael yep. yeah. or in which case. You know. she, or she, or she could just leave it and risk Raphael doing something, like revealing this to everyone. Yeah. Or uh, she can come clean after um, spending a week meditating in her. Yeah, <laughs> and um, come clean to us and hope that we will remain supportive of her, hoping that the truth might not be pretty, because I don't think the truth is very, very pretty. Would, would you case. call this pretty truth? No. Oh. But it is, it's truth, and I think that's good in a way. Like, we, we kind of know where we stand now, in a way. The question is, is did she take it too far? Did she? Probably. Probably, but then we've taken a lot of stuff way too far. Like, I mean, she we've... burnt down, like, the palace and killed a lot of people. Not her fault, though. I mean, it's like, partially her fault. I mean, I mean, admittedly, I just, I just, I just had a fun mo moment in my mind though of where the wicked we burnt down the agathium and then. Yeah. 
I mean, we did, but but that was premeditated. We we really like that was our goal. We were like, I know, but yes. I'm, I'm saying there's, there's there's an awful lot of similarities I didn't think about with him. But mm -hmm. then in this case, it's she, yeah, she hired the assassins to do a job, but that job went horribly wrong, and ended up killing everybody. All yeah, horribly they, right. They, they succeeded at their job. Just they yeah, had, you know, that was, it but, but it the had bad ramifications. Was... Yeah, they were collateral. Yes, and but, she yeah. didn't want that. So, in all fairness, it, if and anything, she, it's the assassin's fault. <laughs> she, she has seemed. I mean, from what I've seen of her, she has seemed very, uh, very upset and very sad about the fact that her brother and the kid got, and got taken out as well. Yeah, like she has been genuinely upset of how bad that went. So, yeah. I don't know. Will her remorse? Make it better. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit. Shows shows that she's not completely heartless. Yeah. Which, of course, Raphael knows already. She isn't. But I mean, it shows to some of you that she's not completely heartless. Just somewhat. I mean, she's a statesman, a stateswoman. When she tries to run this damn state. Yeah. In a position and in a way that is not uh, really. I don't. I don't envy her that. Uh, the the choices she apparently had to make. Being a noble is not fun. No. Nope. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not. Yep. Unfortunately, she does not get the option of sometimes it's good to be empress, sometimes it's good to be your order. She doesn't really get that option. She's just, it's always empress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of Raphael she hasn't. Looks into her eyes. Raphael yes. does not declare. Raphael does not declare wars. However. No. Yeah. Uh, yes. Gee, he does apparently solve them, but not declare them. Mm -hmm. What else have we thought? What the fuck about? And you well, know, well, while you have the audience of the Empress in her black box. Yeah, we might as well. I mean, Riff knows personally that the the Angel is a hoarder, and she doesn't like him. But that's a whole different kettle of fish. The Angel hasn't committed anything against the law. No, but he's a hoarder. All right. Hoarding is not he against the law. He keeps things for himself. Is that what you're angry about? He's got a problem. All right. <laughs> I mean, we need an intervention for the angel. Yeah, we need an say? intervention for the angel. All right. You, you kind of, I mean, you, you're kind of pathological thief. <laughs> that like you steal oh, everything wants, that right? you steal he everything wants, that is it? not that is not like an imperial vault. Like, <laughs> I mean, I think I think she might go that far if she knew where the imperial vault was. Oh my god, where it was, and there was a thing in there. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen the vaults yet. Exactly. Oh. And we don't know what's in there. For all we know, all three of her Imperial arms are in there. Bam, Why done. Got it. Three? Uh, I'm she's sorry. Sorry. she's only got two Imperial arms, they're right on her torso. Well, no, she's ha -ha! Got It's a joke about having arms. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, well. Well. Wow. Bah. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the idea of Riff. It's like, he's not giving me stuff. I don't like him. Yeah. Riff doesn't like him. He's just yeah. bare. Um, um, I can't think of anything more right now, but yes, we should probably pause here. Yeah. And when we come back next time, we're going to have Manakai and Tina with us again, and maybe they will want to ask things. I think they will. Yeah, probably. I didn't think uh, Manakai was expecting her to just say, right, ask me questions. <laughs> ask me anything. Ask me anything, I'll tell you, you know? The I, problem is, I think he'd been too tired to try and work out what to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is oh. why I was like, uh, do we keep going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let's let's stop here then. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we can ponder the, uh, the uh, different... things. <laughs> yeah, the different things. If you come up with questions in the downtime, you may freely ask them mm -hmm. to me, and I will give you a response, and we can go over the responses you got in session. Yeah, sure. Um, but yes, no downtime, because you were locked in the room with a nuke. Yeah. Technically, sure. you're all each other's hostages. Yeah. Mm. She's her, your hostage, and you're her hostage. Don't, don't you love Mexican standoffs? <laughs> I think Andrew in the chat asked why no one tried to resurrect the old, uh, the old emperor and the kid and stuff. I, if the they're thing too is, badly no, fucked up, like they can't. Yeah, I mean, you can, resurrect, you can resurrect them technically. 
it, I mean, their souls need to want to return, right? That's the... Step, yeah, step one is their souls want to come back is always a question. Yeah, because most... Like Pathfinder, like you can't resurrect player characters because they, they are heroes. Like they have a destiny. They, they, they want to come back because they have a mission. Yeah, they are, they are people with a mission. Most people, when they enter heaven, don't really have the uh, that much urge to return is often a thing. No, they, they see heaven and like, oh... Heaven's kind of nice. I should probably stay here. <laughs> And then you know, if they see, if they see hell, they can't really choose to leave because they're there because they're, they're like they're, they're forced to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, with hell, they have to have a they, hell has to have a reason to let them go. Mm -hmm. Which they might in the case of Way of the Wicked. I mean, Way of, Way of the Wicked is like we're amused. Well, in, in normally it's him, I'm amused by, it, but in this case, in Way of the Wicked's case, it's you're helping us. Yeah. So. So well, fine. You know, in Abaddon's case, it's like I can I can spare that soul for now. I'll eat it again later. Mm -hmm. Or it hasn't been eaten yet. <laughs> that is pretty unlikely. There are a lot of demons. There's a lot of demons, yes. And everyone wants something to eat, or wants to hand that something onto something bigger to eat. In the case of the demons, that literally just feed other demons. Silly demons. And yeah, not everyone can die five times, as yeah. King Kavala points yes. out. <laughs> as, 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 as I pointed out. If Rift dies too many times, there may be um, complications. Yeah, Phrasma just says, well, no, no, you're not coming back anymore. Fuck you. <laughs> I need to change these books so often. Did you know you can't use erasers on a, on a book of death? doesn't work. doesn't work. Do yeah, you yeah, just like scrabble it out and like rewrite. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, you're making my tone look a mess. Does, does, just, just a quick thing, because, yeah, she could, uh, as chat on... Oh, Suggesting it could actually be a bluff. This box is the box Maybe. magical. Do you guys detect magic? Oh, I don't know. Look, if if you get to the point where it's just the where the queen is like, she's casting a spell. <laughs> it could you probably be. shouldn't. You probably shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's a bluff or not. It doesn't change anything. True. Yeah. It, it's always, it's that, that is admittedly a, it's admittedly a good idea. Is it a good? It's still a good question though. Like, is she is she trying to double bluff you by having an ominous black box? Yeah, she I just could. She... It just could be a box. To be fair, I shall open the box and reveal it, the box. It, 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 that, that, that's the best kind of bluff. Just like I have an ominous black box. Uh, yeah. Still, that's again. It wouldn't change much. I I still don't have an urge to attack her. No, not quite really. The rest of the party might. The rest might. <laughs> Well, the, the three the three of us don't seem to have at least. No, there, well, there's a certain unless, white unless haired Ballard one. Unless Bollard is like secretly seething. Yeah. Like, how dare she do that? She, he, 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 he he immediately becomes like a royalist and fights. <laughs> <laughs> the Empress opens the box and the witch just pops out. <laughs> so well, box. that that isn't that is. That would change things dramatically if that happened. That would. She, she just pops out and says, she, I disabled it! Yeah. She tears off her face. I've been the witch all along! <laughs> <laughs> but wait, how did you fight yourself? Wait, what? I am the creator and the destroyer! <laughs> punches Laurel and rips his still beating heart out of his chest, holding it up to us. Now, who was dinner? Exactly. Riff would just sit down and say, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Magic, I love it. Ooh, no can argue she, with she, that. She could roast it in Hellfire. There you go. In that, at this point, at that sort of point, would you really just bother? To be honest, yes, no. the way you, you just ripped right. your friend's heart out with her bare hands, would you really bother? I might. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Raphael might have a problem with cooking Laura's heart in Hellfire. Mm. Really wouldn't want to cook the heart, but I mean, she, I don't think she'd fight. <laughs> she's accepted to eat it. I don't think. I just think. I'd, I think she'd just give up at that point. I, I don't know. I, th I think. I think, I think Raphael and, and Bollard would probably attack. <laughs> at that point. Uh, it's fucking for Rasmus. So Zoe, Zoe might I'm be sorry. <laughs> yeah. Riff is sitting there watching the fight still eating. Oh, God. If, well, if well, the well, rest well, attacked, then... For your knowledge, ripping yeah. someone's heart out counts as a death effect. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she'd, he'd be dead. And... <sighs> Riff knows that sucks. <laughs> yes! You are the most experienced in the, co in, in the journey of death. <laughs> There'll be books about Riff saying how much of a moron she was from getting killed so not often. <laughs> yes, here we have the two, uh, as, Ch as Ch 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 lovely points out, we have we have two of the most powerful possible melee builds in the game. 
a swashbuckler and a Magus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, I don't know, she's good. I have, I've been sparring with her for, and it's, for a lot. And it's something which Raphael knows, it's a Magus who can parry. Oh yeah. And robust. Which is pretty scary. I think if the Emperor's full attacked Zoe, Zoe would die. I, I, I think it would be... I don't see the Empress hitting over or less than 30 regularly. I have, uh, I've seen her hit less, but... Um... Regularly? No. Yeah. And she only has... only has 77 hit points, and I don't think her comms that high. On the bright side, the Empress isn't in armor right now. Yeah, but she has a fucking that's, nuke, doesn't that's she? What she? That's what she. what she wanted to believe. It's it's cold. She has cold armor and cold weapon. She can just Perfect. snap her fingers and they appear. Ah, oh, you know, no. I uh, yes, I have seen it quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Which you know is pretty good for um, it's pretty good in case you're ever gonna be a diplomatic meeting. Suddenly, I want my armor. Oh, there we go. Because all she needs is to be within one mile of her, which is not too difficult. Yes. Mm. Other than questions, that is all that will be in the session now. All right. Um, I will not. Gr I will not be giving you XP yet in the session. Okay. XP. You will have a combined XP f with next session. It. It was. You know. I don't want to be. Uh, want to be pushy here, but it was uh, raised in in the chat by Malorn before, I think, mm -hmm. and I think it warrants taken up here. Uh, would Raphael gain a hero point from for winning the the arena? Uh, that is something which I was going to handle in downtime, but yes, you will get one hero point. Haha! -ha. I love hero points. To be besides you, you got the hero point from getting the belt of the champion. Mm -hmm. I never got a hero point. No. And I made an airship. That's a good point. You didn't help build an airship. You get a hero point. You get a hero point. I don't. I don't know if I need one though. Oh, that was. Well, that was like, what can you do with them? Not you can not die with them. I think, right? Yeah, you two, can re-roll. Two of them, you can spend both to avoid death. You can make a re-roll. Right. You can make an immediate action, like you can add breaking. a plus four on her roll you just made, or a plus mm. eight on her roll you're about to make. You Maybe can... hero points are cool. You can you can you can basically interject an action into any at any time in the initiative order, being like, no, no, I'm gonna act now. I want one standard action, or as Zoe did earlier, you may be doing which is normally impossible for your character. A non-spellcaster casting a first-level wizard spell, or in Zoe's case, casting a spell that was one level higher than she is allowed. It was a breath of life. Right. Yeah, she did a breath of life to stop immediate death of Bolas. Yep. Yay. Wait, when did that happen? Did I forget that? It was, it was the raid. It was the raid oh, of the right. cult. Yes. Oh yes, the cult. Yes. Because you know the cult of death is actually pretty good at killing people. Who I would imagine. What yeah. about the cult? The, the no, fact we... that breath of life. Ah uh, yeah. Point hero points. Hmm. You recall the fact that Bollard almost died if so we didn't save him with a hero point. And then Rift died. Mm -hmm. How many hero points have Rift gotten? Yeah. <laughs> Zero. M M M Riff, has, Riff has bought a lot of like the potions that grant hero points. Hmm. Oh right, sure. Hmm. Um, she has been forcing Lady Luck's hand. <laughs> I will get lucky. Yeah, Riff, Riff doesn't give a fuck. So in addition to having Phrasma pissed at her, she has Desna pissed at her. <laughs> Just all the gods are pissed. <laughs> Riff doesn't try to make friends. She makes results. <laughs> Oh, will, will she make even Grotius pissed? Is the question. She she is That'd she's friends nice. with the Empress. Then I can hear because that's kind of her <laughs> her like way of acting as well. <laughs> her, you know, Riff and uh, the Empress haven't really had chats. No, no, you haven't. It's kind of been just like get to work. Yeah, it's been work and it's a business relationship like, between the two of them. Business relationship. Mm -hmm. Raphael is the one with the most personal relationship. Yeah. Yes. Zoe yeah. had a tiny bit. I think I think Raphael has a actually has a decent sway over the Empress at this point. I mean, he kind of forced this to happen, like this 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 like intervention thing we have now. Where she's standing across the table with a nuke from you. Mm -hmm. no, that's fine. He uh, she's uh, she's so hot when she's being murderous, you know. 
<laughs> uh. I don't know. Try to reach. Why? Why would we need to try and reach her? Who? The. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm looking at chat. Manon said, "Guys, try to reach her." Are you talking about the Empress? Bollard, grab the box. Her armor, she's like holding the box. If I grab the box, yeah. it's just gonna open it and I'm gonna die. Uh, she's only probably gonna kill us four or five if, if uh, she well, opens that right. box. So, you know, she's not gonna kill. She said she'd maybe. rather not kill you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's scared. She's filled with like five of some of the most powerful people in the city. Yeah. <laughs> she's and, gonna be scared. And it's people that have found out one of her secrets. And now she's basically thinking of whether or not you know we d this is we are we are testing her as much as she is testing us at this point. I mean, again, I, I think this was the logical choice for her because we have supported her quite a bit. We have, and we would definitely not continue to do so unless she had come clean with us at this point because there was too many suspicions and accusations. Yeah. Little and does she know we have the final card. <laughs> yes. You do. You do have the card that completely changes the table. We do. Yeah. If she were just to say, "Well, I'm going to kill you," then we could just turn around and say, "Well, I I have a contingency a contingency plan. If you do that, we <laughs> release William." And Fuck at you. that point, we're like, <laughs> "William is alive." And she's like, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> "William's alive. We have the box, the mirror, the goblet, everything. We have so <laughs> many <laughs> orbs." <laughs> So I believe this makes you a traitor for the bracelet. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but then uh, then uh, does the bracelet work? Because is it a traitor to the person wearing it or the empire? Because if it's to the empire, William's the true emperor. Technically, <laughs> technically, you you're not sure. It might count as both, actually. But does it just then freak out and go? Pfft. It's like know. traded to the throne, but then traded to the empire. That they, they're supposed to be the same thing, but they're not always. Yeah. And what is? What if a pretender is sitting on the throne? You know. Yeah, and holding the arm, and then you know, you know did, you're a did, traitor. Did, did the first emperor put enough forethought in case this situation arose? Maybe, maybe he did some crazy shit. We never know. Did he think of this exact scenario though? Is the question. <laughs> exactly. Who knows? Who knows? Like, like you can only plan for so much, right? Yeah, we can't. We you know, Malorn. We can't use the mirror to to. You have to have the mirror so. on. Yeah, because we need to bring the mirror here, and she would immediately recognize it and be like, "What? Yeah. What is? What? Why do you have that?" <laughs> yes, this right. throne is throne forsaken. forsaken. <laughs> yeah, the throne is forsaken. Mm -hmm. It has been I, forsaken I, for many sessions. Also, you know, in a way, maybe you can get the idea of fighting the shadows. Yeah. Oh. Riff would much rather just a straight up fight rather than all this creeping around, stabbing at the back bullshit. <laughs> but would she? Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm Again, sure I, Raphael I, can can agree to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he'd prefer not, to punch somebody in the face. He he very much prefers is like if it's going to be a throwdown, let's have a throwdown. He will draw blades and go to it. Yeah, he, that's his preferred way of fighting. Yes. Preferably before a large crowd, you know? <laughs> Preferably. Well, we you, a large crowd. Be, you will be informed by the Empress. Um, this room is surrounded by priests and mages and sapphire guards. Oh, sure. Because uh, yeah, she, she was kind of, in, you know, in the event that she does die, well... She has enough fewer in her to come back. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Even if she doesn't come back to life, she she's goddamn giving you a hard time if you try to kill her. That's fine. Again, I, I I don't personally have no interest in fighting her at this point. Yeah. She she's ruthless, but hopefully we can keep uh, Zoe uh, uh, under control from throwing that bust. From throwing the bust at the Empress's face. Mm. Throws the bust. Immediate action. Open the box. Yeah. Exactly. 
She like prepared open box if <laughs> any attack comes at her. <laughs> Every round, she's just delaying her action to that. But, but yeah, she has she has showed her throat to us, given us a, a place to strike. Uh, we can choose to slit it or 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 continue like stand down and continue actually working with her. I think Who that's, could just poking at it. That's like our only option at that at this point. We either stand down and work with her, knowing that she. Is a treacherous bitch after all. Um, I think you've known this. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't know. Is well, she we've treacherous she's a bitch, though? Like treacherous? We've never known that. <laughs> I mean, is she treacherous though? I mean, she's. It depends on what you say in the word, though. I guess. Yeah. She I has mean, certainly in... done a lot of skullduggery. Yeah. I think. I think we wait it out. I think we wait and see what she does now. I think in this case we need to be a lot more. A lot closer to her decision making now that we know this sort of crap, because we already are. Like we're sitting on the council, and like I, I feel we need to be a bit closer because really the council is only really making decisions about the city, not the maybe not the I whole mean, empire. I, I imagine we are one of a very few select people who know this. I would imagine the spy master knows, and I would imagine that Luna knows. Well, if, Maybe. if the spy master knew, don't do, don't you think do, she'd bring her in? Uh, bring him in? Do they even know? Yeah, Luna might not know, and the spy master might not know. I think the spy master knows. I think the only person that probably knows is the witch, <laughs> because the witch is just she, you know she's old enough to watch Empress reality TV. So, I mean, you know, the palace is bored. I I don't know. It's I don't know. I, I think, yeah, I, I think I think opposing the Empress as, at this point would be detrimental to to the Empire. Yeah, yeah. She still has no heir. I mean, the ideal scenario would be at some point that we tell her that, you know, William didn't actually die. I mean, even, we might even, I don't know if we're going to tell her at this meeting. We have to discuss it, I guess. Oh, but, no, no. <laughs> but we could oh. be like, you know what, Empress? William is actually alive, and we have him. The, and the important thing is... To remember is the moment you say that that sends ripples through the entire empire. Yeah, we right. Need but to the have... plan, the plan for well, the ideal plan is as far as I mean, me and Manakai have discussed this at length. Yeah. Uh, like how to how to like set this up, but I mean the ideal way would be to like the Empress has no kids. William is a kid. Have the Empress recognize William as the true heir. She will remain in power until he comes of age, and then so she will she will ab she will abdicate to him to the true heir. She she will be a regent basically until yeah. he comes of age. So she would have to openly say, "I will be regency until he comes of age." Yeah, yeah. And but then, but technically, she was she was crowned in essentia. Yeah, true. Yeah, but okay. In this situation, that would be that the... would be the ideal way. And then she steps down and becomes like. An advisor, you know, she will yeah. be on the war council or like one of the probably closest advisors to the to the throne, probably. But she and then chat's the giving you the alternative. No, she can have an heir. Raphael just has to give her one. It's true. That is that, true. That, that would certainly complicate things deliciously if if somehow yeah. she got an, an you heir. You then natural. technically have a pretender heir and a real heir. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But even so, you know, in Raphael and the Empress could move to the countryside and live happily. <laughs> Who's like sixty, Malon? The Empress isn't sixty. No, she's not sixty. She's, she's like young. in her. She's no, she's in no, her she's upper thirties, I think. Upper yeah, 30s. upper thirties at this point. She, she's reaching her limit, but she is not at it yet. Raphael's a boy toy for her. <laughs> Raphael is Raphael. I mean, <laughs> Raphael is how old is Raphael? He's twenty six, I think. For, for your knowledge, by the way, this room does have a chandelier in it. Now, uh, when of when when William's an adult, it's only like. It's less than a decade. She'll be in her fifties. Mm. She'll be in her forties. Mm. So she won't be that old <laughs> at all. She won't if, be sixty. He's if you go, be, the, if like you go with the solution where um, I mean, she will be sixty at some point. If you go yeah. with the solution that she has her own heir, she'll be sixty by the time she abdicates. But yeah, at least. Yeah, I mean, she could just restore her, her youth. Uh, there's potions and magic Restoring for that sort of isn't actually that easy. You can no. restore the look of youth. Look, look yes. But, uh, Physical age, not so much. Not 
Not too easy, no. Laurel can do it. <laughs> uh, and then the other solution is some, a potion that costs 250,000 gold. <laughs> she has that. She throws that shit around like it's nothing. And o only eight are produced per year in the entire world. <laughs> eight sure of what? Make that. The, po the potions that rewind your age. Uh... They exist, but they're like super expensive and rare. Like one I'll buy only... all eight of them. I mean, do you have 250,000 gold and... times eight? She mm. might not want to live forever, I you know? Can. That yeah. might be an option for most people don't, actually. <laughs> The the archbishop, uh, the uh, the prince bishop angel dude. He's he's just about balance. He won't do shit. No, he he's yeah, not. He's, he's, not, he's not. He's not useless. He's <laughs> not he's, he's a yeah. guardian of the balance. Like he his his. Unless his, it throws shit out of whack. It is not, not in his work description to prolong the life of someone indefinitely. Oh no no! I think he's. Uh, I think they're on about um, the prince bishop helping in other ways. I don't think he'd do anything. No, he's just he's hanging out. And, and... Wait, if you talk, if you talk about the child solution, uh, Magicka does not have the most. Um, there, there is not a spell restore fertility. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, have I told you about this splat book? Yeah. There, is, there is miracle, but I mean, it's <laughs> oh, the like, gods say yes to returning. That, that splat it's book like is something else. It's like some wandering else. salesman perch, like goes up to the palace and is like, "Here, I will show you with a snake oil that will make you fertile again." And she's like, "Oh my god!" She just buys it. <laughs> Tell be poison and she just dies. drinks it and it's like yeah, exactly. poison. Oh. <laughs> I will show you my magic elixir. You need to swing a cat over your shoulder at full moon and then lie on a bed of corpses. Cat, cat is recommending mutation via the mushroom. <laughs> no, no. The mushroom might be able to solve a problem, but not the problem. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to go for now. Okay. Okie okay. doke. I. Uh... Alrighty. See you later, Yank. See you guys. Thanks for the session. Thanks Thank for the you. session. Yeah, I, I don't he's know. Now stuck with the sh with the camera and the other camera. Yeah, he's stuck with the two cameras. Pointing at you. Dance, yeah. dance for us. <laughs> dance, um, puppet. <laughs> let me check the Empress's dance skill for you. Yeah. <laughs> um. She just gets not up hard enough to She's not practice. For the jig. Yeah, you know, she's haven't practiced for a week, so. <laughs> See, wrong with Rafael Ramos. Uh, uh, it's perfectly average. Perfectly average. Better than Riff could do for her charisma check. The Empress oh. is doing pretty good of her dance at the floor. Natural yeah. 20. Go, go Empress. That's Riff, Riff doesn't have her dance role, so. Well, it's a pretty good charisma check, though. You know, just saying, all of you, that, that, that's a pretty good dance. She might want to turn the music back on for them. Yes. Let's discuss horrible murder and death. And dance. Dance! A revolution without dancing is not a revolution worth having. This, 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 is the, this is the way you play an evil enchanter, though. You actually just, you actually just dominate someone and say, Dance for me! Mm -hmm. That's like dominate is such an evil spell. Oh. Or, or you cast Irresistible Dance, which is one of my favorite stuff in the game. Yeah, that happened to my cleric, if you recall, in Age of Darkness. It's pretty good, isn't it? He, he danced to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was something. It was good because it was really like stoic and holy and stuff, and then he just had to dance to death. <laughs> you, you know, um, you know, you know the idea of playing a game of chess against death. How about dancing against death? Mm -hmm. A dance contest. If you win, you get to, you get to cheat death. Yeah, Rith took wall of force. If the Empress moves to the box, we're just gonna slam the wall in front of her. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty difficult when it's basically on the Empress's lap. <laughs> how, how how wide is this is this room? The room? You could wall of force across the room. Yeah, that's what I mean. How wide is it? You could definitely put a wall of force across. <laughs> if it comes to it, bitch ain't doing shit to if us. It comes However, to you'll it, just lock yourself in a small box. If it comes to it, you slam that down on the Empress, and then we tell you to teleport out, and then we run. Yeah, we just dimension door out. Fuck that shit. We run from here and never come you back. Know, you don't think the Empress has already thought of this? Well, is there a window? <laughs> no, in fact, there is not. There's what? no window? Not well, this... it is time to drink the potion of Earth Glide and. About! What do you put glide through? The, the Earth? Is there Earth? Floor is wood! Wood? <laughs> no! no! <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> she knows all, your strengths. All we just do our our greatest um our greatest trick, invisibility sphere. <laughs> and hide <laughs> in a corner. Yeah. One one second, uh, I think something visible in my room. True sight. Oh there we go. Damn it. <laughs> well this is awkward. Well, well, you right, know, Raphael, I know you were supposed to be invisible. Why are you naked? Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, invisibility like makes your clothes invisible as well, right? If, if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna die anyway, you know, we might as well get naked. That's how I see. <laughs> well, might as well die I, naked. I appreciate your honesty. Disintegrate. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, plane shift. No, uh, no, no, don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. The, em the empress wouldn't want. You know, I, th I think at the em this point, the empress would give Raphael warrior stuff. Yeah. There we go. That's fine. But um, yeah, I think we we'd at least give Wall of Force. Oh, Rift's done nothing to her. Can't no, but Rift, Rift may not be deserving of a warrior's death. Also, by the way, Rift. Yeah. You now know a dread secret of the Empress. Do yeah. not tell this to anyone. <laughs> or we will strangle you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just just mis merely uttering this. <laughs> I should I should have brought you into this dinner. I'm so sorry. Now I have, I have doomed the empire completely. <laughs> well, you know, let, let's be honest, Jonas. Someone had to doom the empire, or else you wouldn't have a fun story. It's right? true. It's true. The, the story becomes more fun. Just, just, just don't talk to. Just don't. Please, <laughs> please don't tell this to anyone. Oh, you I worry too much. I have 100 followers. I don't, you because you, you brought your much. sister, and you're like, this is thousands? my sister, I have told her everything, and the whole group were like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> she did it again. Uh, in my personal defense, out of uh, out of any character, um, she is a cohort, so she's like undyingly loyal, so <laughs> there is that. She'd still be snarky about her loyalty to you, though. Yeah, yeah, she's very snarky. But then that, that's, that's oh, also she's not quite as insane as you, funny enough. That's very true. She's intelligent. Not... Don't, don't don't tell her. Don't tell your <laughs> cabal, dude. Don't tell anyone. Oh no, cabal, no, cabal, and shit. They don't know shit. The cabal has the same climate, sir. Don't tell William. No, no, no. William's William, kept in secret. Right? William has a lot of things he doesn't know at this point. Yeah, William doesn't know shit. <laughs> William just William. knows he's a boy in a basement. <laughs> you know, he knows more things about the city now because he's got to have a look at it. He's, yeah, he's, been, like it. he's been through the dance hall, he's been flying around. He even looked through the observation dome. Like, Rift's yep. observation dome. Yeah, he was given so many treats. And then yeah. locked the basement again. And yeah, 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 now that the whole uh, month downtime's gone, it's like, yep, no, shit's going crazy now. Back into the cupboard. Back, out to, back into the box. You stay in there. But, well, uh, well, William, this month has been sure has been fun, but now you need to go back into the naughty box. Yeah. Like, no, oh, oh, but please, Riff, I am ever so lonely. Like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Riff's, um, uh, Riff's actually going to invest into a panic room so that if there is another invasion, he can run into the panic room mm -hmm. and stay in the panic room. What you do is you make the panic room have like a small sized door. Yeah, yeah. And they have to squeeze through, but he'll be good enough. At his rapier fighting. Pen, to be pen, able to pen, you can, if you made it a tiny sized door, size door, he could squeeze through, but no one else. Yeah, no I, medium uh, creature could squeeze through it. I I'm thinking like on riding on the um, on the huge success of Raphael in the arena. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of opening up a few <laughs> more businesses. Home Alone for William Edition. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what happened when like. You know. You know, when the invasion happened, he did try. He did try. Unfor unfortunately, you know, rapiers are not the best thing to get zombies. You need slashing weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're all a swashbuckler, you need, uh, then rapiers all you are need, fine. Uh, all you need fencing grace, because then you can use them as slashing weapons as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, fun fact, he does, not have mer he does not have much in the way of feats right now. Well, what, what about vampires, Malon? Tell us what. Are you suggesting turning William into a vampire? Oh, how, how many, many of them are in the Sith? I have no idea. <laughs> that no is idea. something you have no idea about, though the chances are there is probably at least one. Sure, well, it's a big Imperial city. It's bound to be it, a vampire somewhere. The, 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 it, it's very much possible there might be one, but you don't know where. There's well, probably a necromancer as well somewhere. And yeah, so, that, that's well, how Rift's going to get her plus saying, full charisma. There, there, there is both like cathedrals, 
like worshipping dark gods. Yeah, yeah. And then there are like academies full of wizards. Someone's going to make an undead. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it, it statistically is going to happen. Yeah, you know, someone is going to create the undead. For a second, I thought they were suggesting turning William into a vampire. Yeah, I was going. <laughs> no, we don't really want him to become a vampire. No, we're not going to turn into a vampire. bonuses from charisma, but yeah, I don't think he's very charisma based though. He he does have a surprising amount of it, strangely enough. Yeah. I do I do like the idea of Andrew. Uh, Raphael's new thing is going to be uh, breakfast cereal. <laughs> honey nut Cheerios, Raphael yep. style. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the it. made of the honey from the colonies. Oh god damn it! Now we're gonna be um, we're gonna get uh, like copyright in <laughs> content ID match on yeah. them saying <laughs> you can't say Cheerios. No, no, no. can't say Cheerios. God damn fuck! This video is going down. <laughs> this video is coming down. Yeah. Unless you unless you put in like a ten minute advertisement for Cheerios. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, so if if you watch this video on YouTube, and uh, and there's a ten minute long advert for Honey Nut Cheerios, you know why? Now I've just added another ten minutes. So yeah. mm -hmm. we still don't know who uh, K is. No. All you know is he's caused so much chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chaos. Yeah, fun, chaos. Well, it's close. You know, chaos technically spelled with a C, and you're trying to be cool. He is. He's Professor Chaos. <laughs> It's a chaos. Bringer of destruction and doom. Yeah. Do, 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 do you think he would write chaos with a K? Probably. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A vampire Avaleth. Now we have an issue, chat. Chat, we have an issue now. Or my, my absolute favorite one is a lich uh, mind flayer. Which, <laughs> that... which is called an Alahoon. And there he goes. Horrid, horrid creatures. A lich yeah. mind flayer is pretty scary. I won't yep. lie. Yep. Looking at my looking at my three point five monster manual, that is pretty scary. So, Good. Uh, so a question for um for chat because I don't think we asked this last session. What do you guys think of the new uh, token pictures for well, three of us? We couldn't find one for Bollard. Yeah, you know, we have Doctor Laurel. We have slightly wiser Riff, and we have Raphael. The dashing as always. Yeah. It's dashing. Yeah, we needed to find Bollard's mum. That's that's our next project. <laughs> you don't know who Bollard's mother is. We need to send out Bollard the doesn't know hunters. who Bollard's mother is. Yeah, I, th I think I think don't I don't think Bollard had a mother. I think he has congealed. <laughs> he he just appeared. What did he congeal from then? Who's the father? <laughs> you know, I mean, the ooze in the pool. You know. <laughs> he just came out. He, he's like he's like mutant plane. from the ooze. He just appeared in the sewers. <laughs> It was an experiment gone wrong. I live again. <laughs> I, I, I just pic picture being Raphael poking his rapier through a hole in a jury. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I like that. I like that. <laughs> if Raphael wanted to create his own product, this could be done. This could be done. We could, we could have it done, Raphael. Mm -hmm. This would require dedication, marketing, and the appraise skill. I, as I said, I, I wanted to open up some more businesses. I'm thinking taverns. Taverns? Yeah, I like that. Riff might Tav join in your venture. Taverns are, taverns are something which, unfortunately, no matter how many you build, there is always a demand for. Yeah, and he, he will, you know, every district needs to have at least one tavern, a Raphael tavern, you know. Every district has a tavern. Does have a Raphael I, but you need, you, need, you need a Raphael one. Yeah, as yeah. Said, luckily enough, it's one of those things where you can't really have too many taverns sometimes. The, yeah. the Gilded Sapphire Tavern or something. You yeah, always have too many taverns when you have ta taverns equal to 50% of your population. <laughs> Raphael Tavern, because getting drunk is serious business. Partnership with the Arkenbrack Corporation. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. we will We will we'll sell all of their hot new products. Sample the new honeymead from Arkenbrack. <laughs> Only available at Raphael Taverns. You know, you know, you know, um, you know. Laurel should have asked for a sponsorship from the um, from the arena. How would have that been? Do you think? Yeah. Really all, sure. today, all of today's matches are all thanks to the Arkenbrack yeah. Corporation. Yeah, I said the the, the horrible leads to you. The horrible acid burns are brought to you by Volsenbrack. <laughs> Twenty. <laughs> 20% more acidic than the next meeting. The, 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 the giant leviathan are brought to you by the Arkham. 
like you see Laurel like writing uh, on the on the blackboard, and then he turns around, looks at you with those eyes, and said, "I I don't have much time in my line of work. Therefore, I I eat Volsenbrack uh, like uh, you know supplements. It will keep me going for weeks. You should too." Brought to you by the by the utmost uh, of scientific minds at the Wolfenbach Corporation, we have perfected a formula that allows you to eat only these pills for the rest of your life. And then it's like one of those speaker voices that's really fast, you know. Side effects may vary. Do not take if pregnant. And <laughs> yep. It, it, I, ima I imagine also the side effects would be like escalating, but then just suddenly de-escalate, such as <laughs> sim sim symptoms, in symptoms include kidney failure, blindness. <laughs> Death and nausea. Gigan gigantism. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, so it's going to end with something like nausea or coughing or sneezing. <laughs> so it's going to end on some really low key thing after death. Yeah, sure. Like, uh, as my, one of my favorite examples is um, ars ars arson, murder, and jaywalking. There we go. Arson, murder, jaywalking. There it's, like, right it's like you put the last thing on there just to extend your list, even though it doesn't help. Mm hmm. Yeah. Miracles. Sorry, miracles are something that's in low in in low availability. To show that role play is more important than builds. It's true. Yeah, I guess. Role play can sometimes be more important. Such as, for example, Raphael trying to dodge earlier the giant thing was not just solely based on his role. It was based on how did he describe doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have anybody who can cast the ninth level spell, apart from the Prince Bishop, and I don't think the Archmage can even cast that, so... Oh, no. Well, no, he can't, but, you know, he can't cast... I don't know if he can you're cast sure ninth he, level spells. You're pretty sure he does not know Wish. No. Or at least you've never, at least you've never heard of him casting Wish. No. Yeah, but do you know what kind of levels Zoe has to be to be able to cast Miracle? I do. I have an I have an oracle that just got miracle. I know, just it's got level miracle. eighteen. Yeah, yeah, after almost two years of yeah, we're we're like a year and a half away of getting that. <laughs> Although we are leveling way faster in Forsaken Throne than we are True. in Way the Wicked. True. Okay, we're about a year, three quarters to a year <laughs> away. That that's still a long old time. Uh, Jonah, still, still think of the chaos that's going to ensue whenever we get a combat in um, where the wicked the <clears throat> miracles four times in a day. That's a lot of miracles. No oh, material right. components required. Yep. <sighs> Miracle is like it, it is. It is Miracle's so shit. good. It's so good. Like reality itself will bend to my will. Mm -hmm. I need to pay twenty five thousand for that. <laughs> You, now I've got you, a thing now I need to do. the benefit of the gods on your side. <laughs> bah. Time stop. <laughs> you see me, you see me frozen there with my arms to extend it after saying the conversation. Yep, and then we go suffocation, and then we go suffocation, and then suffocation, <laughs> and <laughs> suffocation. Then Zerus will pass all his saves because his saving from bonus is through the roof. <laughs> uh, reveal the weakness as well, I think. Yes. <laughs> uh, reveal the weakness. Sorry, is a um, it's a single round effect, so it does not work. <laughs> In his time, time stop. Oh man! I know the rules of time stop. Mm hmm. I am proficient in time stopping. I am. Um, yes, yeah. I am. There will be. It will be quite the chaos when we go to battle next time in Where the Wicked because there is going to be so much spelling. <laughs> Okay. Any any level seven spell of, of any level seven spell on the wizard list or any level eight spell or lower on the cleric list, I can now just cast. I, yeah. say, I want. I it. mean, if, again, if we really need to go all out, there's going to be a lot of things happening. I think next time we fight, it's going to be confusing because hopefully Riff won't die. That might be a completely different thing that might happen in Forsaken Throne. Riff might not die. She has oh. stuff to ha, save ha, her. Ha, ha, ha. Maybe, oh, maybe, that's a good. Or maybe Riff will die. Joke. And Frasma, maybe Riff will die, and Phrasma will just say no. Yeah, yeah, that's always no, possible. I'm done. You're not coming back. I do have backups just in case. Riff not dying. That's met, hilarious. Met, met. You know, you know, what, Jonas. You know, it might be a good idea for Riff getting that tube. Tube. Growing herself a new body. 
Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I I know all about that. Hey, Zacharias. <laughs> yeah, you want to contact uh, Zacharias? <laughs> there's a very there's a very snazzy academy being built yeah. that look that is looking for brilliant uh, arcane it talent. Sorcerers, though, would it? Uh, it, it sorcerers is not there's not nothing wrong with a sorceress. Yeah, I, I mean, Zacharias like prefer wizards, of course, but oh, oh, also the chaotic neutral one. Would you really? Want? I I can bring like a whole contingency of people. What's her What's her blood arcane bloodline? Mm, uh, <laughs> Maybe we can find it. We can. Well, sure we can find it. Enough. You need something more esoteric. Well, considering I'm bringing like a hundred people. Yeah. Along with, okay. Uh, okay. Some of which magus and wizards and. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking over a hundred new could, people. Uh, for I, the could, I could, I could, I could give you a place in my organization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I get a tube? <laughs> uh, sure. Yes. Yeah, with yeah. a, uh, you just need to leave it's a sample a of your blood. <laughs> it's a job with benefits. It's a job with benefits. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> might be required to do horrific research. <laughs> horrific research. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Into the like very essence of death and the void and nothingness and stuff. Right. Right. Oh, well, I've worked with Imperial Arms. I mean, all right, all right. Yeah. Can you bring one of those? I mean, I have four of them if you want. I okay, just... sure, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I can, uh, I, in return, I can give you access to the Dragon Library, the Dragon. most uh, the most exclusive library on the Material Plane, filled like with it. the collected knowledge of the planes and a time-traveling, plane-hopping dragon. I like it, I like it. The time-traveling dragon bit is pretty impressive because most dragons can't tell time travel. Yeah. He was like all over the damn place. <laughs> one one question for the chat: What is it with you guys and Ref be becoming an elemental? I mean, you've been on it all all session. Like what the no, fuck? I, I think it's just Malon banging on and on yeah. about it. <laughs> Malon, you crazy? <laughs> he he has he has some sort of Tourette's. He's just screaming out elemental. Elemental player. You know. <laughs> How about Riff turning into a positive energy element? The 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 positive spell is energy, the spell is what? good. It gives you it gives you a, a a lot of special abilities and immunities and stuff. Yeah, sure. Uh, but I you might want also to consider undead anatomy. Undead anatomy, huh? Yeah, it turns you into part undead. <laughs> no, will Zoe agree with this? Hello, yeah. hello, Zoe. <laughs> now you see my true face. <laughs> so, so, suddenly, a cleric of Phrasma walks over and is like, "Told you." <laughs> Told you, guys. So, so we might just heal you to death at that point. Yeah. Like, does sorry. That does that class as like? I don't. I haven't read undead. I haven't read undead, undead anatomy. I'm not sure what it does. That yeah, but does that like class as like? It gives it gives you undead traits like immunity to mind effects. And stuff it would. Like it, for your knowledge, I believe it does not count as injuring someone for the purpose of her feet. Oh, okay. Because right. <laughs> technically, if if you get healed, she's technically healing you. Yeah, um, but. It's hurting, but it's healing. She's, she's curing you of undeath. <laughs> curing me of undeath. <laughs> or she's, or is it re-death? I mean, it's really hard to turn yeah. in this case, because she's died and been come back and then made undead. It's like so hard to tell. Yeah, yeah it's so hard to tell. Riff's just a whole bubbling cauldron of fucked up. Like, you, <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> that is, yeah, that should be the tagline for this campaign. <laughs> a whole bubbling cauldron of fucked up. Yeah, Riff yeah. is a whole bubbling cauldron of fucked up. That's you. <laughs> I agree completely. <laughs> so now, now, now we've got that. Now we've got that miracle sorted. Yeah. That I mean, made. I mean, she's she's um she's died, come back five times. <laughs> Sometimes due to glitches in the universe. Sometimes. Sometimes yeah. through legitimately being slain with a scythe. Yeah. What, what are the physical perceptions of Zacharias? What? How does it feel? How does it work? Uh, I'm not sure what you're asking. I mean, like, how Zacharias feels? Magic. He doesn't. He, hmm? I don't think he I, can. Does he? Is is he actually yeah. able to reach out to something and feel that nope. thing? Yes. Uh, he he can like he he knows touch and stuff, but he doesn't really feel pain or anything anymore. He has perception. You you don't have pain so much as you know part of your flesh is open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I recognize that uh, that I'm damaged, but I don't feel yeah. any pain anymore. But then, does does can he smell? Does he taste it? Yes. Well, he doesn't I eat can't anymore. Eat, does he, he can't eat anymore, so he can't really do that. He can smell things, and like he he ha his perceptions are are intact. It's just yeah, he it's just well, mo the the yeah. five basic ones are intact. Temperature doesn't really hurt him that much yeah. anymore. Cold. He's immune to cold. He can't. 
Yeah, you don't feel the cold, you can only feel the heat at this point, and that's only when it starts dissolving your flesh. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, he, he, he even gets, you even get like a plus perception bonus for turning into a, a, a lich, so if anything, his sense has got even sharper. Yeah, because you've got, because what senses you do have left is like magically enhanced by the power of glowing eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when you've got, you've got really glowing wisps for eyes. Yeah, and like with his magic, how that feels, like that's, I've described that, I think it's just he, every time he casts a spell, it's like... The void itself is coming. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're standing in vacuum, like you, you like he, he draws the power from the the time between a heartbeat and the, the endless distances of between the stars. That's like where he draws his power from. So, like his, his magic and the feeling of the casting is, it's just, it's, it's, it's death and nothingness. It, it makes uh, I at this point, if it goes loose, I I imagine him casting a spell will just drive a peasant crazy of like, mm. just turn him insane with like fear and horror because the sensation is so. As, as for the two campaign timelines, uh, <laughs> they're about the same. But yeah, um, where the wicked's two and a half years ahead, because yeah. people in YouTube cannot see this. So I thought so, I'd say it. <laughs> so at this point, the way way of the wicked would be somewhere around the horn, I guess. Yeah, because they, they 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 both basically started in the same time period. Yeah. So where but, the wicked's kind of like in. But where the wicked's had longer 16. chronologically. Yeah. Yeah, we are quite a few. Because we're on our third year of way of the wicked almost at this point. More, I think, because we have. Yeah, it's, it, we just we just went past nine months, which is it's difficult to tell. <laughs> We've been a while. We this have. campaign's been going for like three quarters of a year. Yeah. In game. You're approaching towards the summer, which is when you started the campaign. The yeah, we, are, we haven't even played a year in this, and we're already like this far. Like, yeah. my god, so much has happened. Yeah, we haven't even done a year. It's been stressful, though it has calmed down a lot. Because considering this is the second month, we started in the fourth month. Mm -hmm. So, it's, you know, it's been ten, ten months. <laughs> it's not even been that long. I'm not exactly sure where Manakai put Talingard on the map. I personally always envisioned Talingard to be west of Avistan or like west of the Inner Sea. Yeah, it depends where you put it, I suppose. Close to Old Aslant is why I imagined it, but the, I, the I old don't world actually map's know. gone. Kind of. yeah. yeah, the map is no longer on the server. Oh. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I was doing some clear ups, so sure, sure. something that went. Um, yeah, it depends where you put it. Depending where the DM puts it, it's it's one week from Chiliax, is it? It they sailed from Chiliax, and it took a week. So you put Talengard near Arcadia. If you put it near well, not Chiliax, they sailed from Rivisia. I'm not actually sure where they where they sailed from, honestly. If you if you if you put it in that way, Malorn, they would be north and south of each other, possibly. It, dep it, really, it really depends where Manakai puts it, basically. That's the issue. Yeah. Because I don't think I don't know if it's written into the book exactly where it puts. I don't think so. Yeah, sheep is right. I think they sail from the mainland, whatever that means. I I guess I guess when someone says mainland and Pathfinder, I think inner sea region. But mainland technically just means you know. Yeah, it, it can mean anything. Talon God is, is really an island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, uh... Malon uh, is running. Uh, would, would, it, would, it, would it be amusing if Talengard was like one of the final places the Empire hasn't invaded yet? Yeah. I mean, the Empire. I mean, we size, just show up. Size-wise, the Empire is not that. Like, it's not ginormous. It's no, it's big. not. It's not. It's it's not ginormous. It's pretty big, but it's not. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not like we have. It's not a super continent. <laughs> no, exactly. It's not. It's not like we have Avistan. Like under control or something, or Avistan or however you pronounce it. It's a pretty big. It's still a decent, pretty big area, but sure, it's not you know godly. No, I th I think the empire does have a navy. We do. The empire has a navy. We have a we have a yeah. freaking admiral. Yeah, exactly. It's just a case that the empire doesn't need a navy too often because we're dealing with civil war right now. Yeah. It was used for ferrying troops back and forth. But... Oh, and where the wicked? You need. In to way of the wicked. Well, where the wicked, we have other issues. 
Yeah, you have magical academies to deal with. I uh, I have a ritual that allows me to raise undead pirate ships. I, I don't oh want you to God. raise an undead pirate that, ship right now. That sounds epic. I, I, can, I can raise many. That sounds control. epic. I, I love know. that. Yeah. How many hit dice of pirate ship can you control? A lot. A lot of hit dice of pirate ship. I just... I, I picture Zacharias being the material version of the Lich from um, uh, from Lord of the Rings, but that doesn't really help you, Dark. Um, but you know the one I mean. Uh, what, actually, what Maldon's saying? Uh, the the Lich in Lord of the Rings? The, the, the undead king, the king that betrayed. Oh, the, the, the Witch King of Angmar. Yeah, the Witch King, that's the one. That's one. Yeah. Sure. I, I kind of picture... Zacharias as being a, a physical form of that, not being the ghostly form, but mm -hmm. like well, if you the, the, took that, the witch king uh, has a physical form, like that's his. Yeah, yeah. But if you took the look of him and just made it in actual flesh and bone, mm -hmm. then that's how I picture Zacharias as being. Sure, he's he doesn't have any flesh anymore; it's just bone. But yeah. you know, it's and, so and his apart. eternal hatred. <laughs> yeah, that's all that's keeping him together: mm -hmm. eternal hatred and bone. It. And horrific sorcery and sacrifice and that darkness. That darkness, destruction, mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. All wonderful stuff in the end, really, isn't it? <laughs> Good fuel for a wizard. <laughs> yeah. I, I, now, now, now I, my, for some reason, my mind just looked at like Jonas's stream and just saw like. Because I couldn't see it on my screen because I think it's covering it up. Most notably, YouTube, but just like the huge sap, the huge throw made of pure sapphire. Yeah. How how much money do you think that's worth? Oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna pawn it. Yeah, we're gonna pawn it. We're gonna rip it out of the ground and pawn it. It's made from a single sapphire. Yeah. So I got a a diamond studded belt and a um a a trophy. <laughs> are they the going belt, into your trophy room? Trophy. Or are you melting them? Pawn no, it. No, I keep them in my trophy room. Pawn that's... it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull off the belt in four years when I when I need when it's up for grabs again. Am I gonna be like, nope, sorry, <laughs> the belt is gone. Sorry, we sold it. So sorry. I have uh, I have this one made of tin foil. I mean, it's shiny. What did you buy with all the money that thing was worth? I bought a hat. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen my hat? <laughs> my hat is fabulous. You it is the most shit? stupendous hat. It is made out of the letter of a dead god. <laughs> <laughs> I literally went a dead, to a dead god. You say? I I literally went to Elysium to go to get the feathers for the cap. <laughs> I had to charm right, some feathers. Where's Riff? yes. Riffland? Wing feathers. Ah, feathers. <laughs> that's a thing. I, I think Elysium would have the best feathers. Yeah, let's go there. Raphael, do you want to come with? <laughs> <laughs> go to the uh, the sun drenched realm of Saren Ray. <laughs> Just show please, up. Re please remember to bring your sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the, the, the the thing though, it's it's always light there, but it, light is not harsh. It's like very nurturing and peaceful. peaceful. Still bring yeah. sunscreen. Sure. Also, you need to travel the the sunlit ocean to get to her to her domain. And if you're not welcome, you will never get to it. You will just sail and sail forever. You will never reach it. Riff being so chaotic, probably won't. Uh, you're in Maybe. line with. Uh, well, actually, no, you're not within the uh, the alignment steps of um, the Nope. No. What would end, what would end up happening if Riff went there? It's kind of like, why is there an outsider here? Yeah. <laughs> why is this crazy lady here? Yeah. Grotius, you, did you lose why, something? Why, why is she screaming about us being hoarders and not giving her stuff? <laughs> I don't know, we should She's probably just... Like, <laughs> Grotius, I think you misplaced one of your followers. Here you go. He's like, no, 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 that's Nephis's thing. Nephis is like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> just shoves Riff under the rug. I have a, I have a solution. Oh, disintegrate. Oh, wait. Uh, resurrection. Disintegrate. Resurrection. Disintegrate. <laughs> Phrasmus just stood in a corner like, <laughs> You know what? I'm not even going to try killing. I'm not even going to take her in. You just you finish what you're doing and then I'll do the final result. You guys tug of war it and I'll just wait. Alright? Just whatever. Come, come Gra fetch me in 2,000 years. Grapple the box. The anti-magical chemical box. Grapple the box. Raphael was starting his own geb. What? No, sorry, Sakurai. I'm I'm tired now. 
I was gonna ride Psycho Virus, of course. <laughs> Raphael, I'm starting to get, get Jack Rice, we need. Raphael, will you talk? Will you talk? Aye. <laughs> Pull, uh, tears off his face. It has been me all along, Zacharias. Well, would you like to know what's in this box? Hill <laughs> Mass! Oh no! <laughs> No! Actually, Hill Math would be horrible for that guy. He gets up to 250 yeah. points of healing. Yeah, but he can only he cannot be destroyed by it. Um, no, it would take, take you to one hit point and then someone just has to stab you. And then the contingency kicks in immediately. By the power of, of uh, Asurias, he will be brought back to... Sorry, you are, sorry, you're upset Asmodeus. Asmodeus cancels that spell. <laughs> I, it's already in place. He can't. I, well, I mean, unless he, like, God directly... Could. I mean, he could, of course, directly reach into the material plane and be like, nope! <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, there, that, you, I, there you go, Jonas. There's your, there's your reason to help out of the cathedral, because otherwise Asmodeus would say no. I just have this image of... Otherwise I won't get my contingency. <laughs> I, I just have this image of Asmodeus's hand just r coming into the material plane and flicking a h almost dead Zacharias and just obliterating him. A, a gate <laughs> opens. His yeah. hand comes out, the entire plane starts cr crushing itself up as the hand comes out. Flicks that cry, he disappears and pulls the hand back in. Yeah. The, 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 entire real, the entire area is absolutely in pieces, but Zacharias is destroyed. And then Zacharias just pops up next to his phylactery. Like, well, shit. The hand comes back out again and grabs the phylactery. God damn it. Zacharias! About that contract you signed ages ago. I have your soul now. Also, grappling Zacharias is not very healthy because his, uh, his lich energy sort of leeches at anyone who touches him. Are you I... thinking you can give God enough negative levels to kill him? No, I, I just mean someone trying to grapple him is probably not a good idea. I don't think, yeah, Asmodeus wouldn't give a fuck, really, would he? No, no he's, a, he's a major god. He wouldn't care. Jonas, if, if Marcus was to grapple you, he'd have a lovely day. Yeah, he'd yes. be healed yeah, and we, shit, we he? hug all the time. We'd like lie together in the sofa, hugging, well, snuggling. If grappled, like, if yes. grappled you, you'd be healing in every round. Just invigorating each other. It's really romantic when you think about it. <laughs> Zacharias and uh, Marcus fanfic. Go! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zacharias's bony hands gently stroked Marcus's shin. <laughs> Is, is, is this still PG enough for this YouTube channel? <laughs> oh, the PG has gone up to at least 15. Now, I think we're, we're going to end up having to put on, like, PG warnings. Cause we've had a few young viewers appearing uh, all of a sudden. Uh, it's like, if you are, you know what, if you are... If you're not why 15... You, why are you watching an evil campaign? Yeah, if yeah. you're not 15, why are you watching a campaign of... Devils. Uh, like liches and devils and horrible necromancy. Yeah. Answer, of course, is because it's fucking awesome. <laughs> that is a valid answer. It's I a would... valid answer. Yes. But, uh, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't, I don't think for, for any kid that has like... That is like 13 or something, I, I don't think there is anything really shocking in Way of the Wicked. There has been a few things, but... Uh. It's... On, on the on, on the most part, we, we do it with a, with a you know... You know, with a, with, a, with a twinkle in her eye. <laughs> Can a lich willingly cause his current skeletal body to die, then reform elsewhere? He could stab <sighs> himself multiple times. Yeah, you could just kill himself. I don't know if I can willingly destroy myself. Probably not, I would guess, because you can't. a human creature can't make themselves explode. I, I don't think I can, but uh, I, I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it. I mean, I, mean, the, 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 I was about the, to say you can stab yourself, but you can't because you wouldn't be able to get past your own damage reduction. I mean, the physical, the physical form of the lich is constructed from the phylactery. Like the phy phylactery, that's where the soul is, and the phylactery builds up a body for the soul to remote control. That is basically how it works. Well, so I mean, so I mean Zacharias' soul is not in Zacharias anymore, it's in the phylactery. It's a slightly fragmented soul, but a soul. Mm hmm. You know, is it kind of like two or three pieces at this point? Like, if you, if like that was also something I was a little bit amused by when I read Harry Potter, you know, and got into it more because Voldemort is basically a lich because he he, yes. he has phylacteries. Yeah, he, ba he, he basically he he was a lich that wasn't undead. Yeah, a living lich, which I was like, oh, that's kind of fun. He's um, you know. And the different, you know, once all the flattery... Instead of being a skeleton, it turned into a snake. That's kind of his... <laughs> well, well, hmm. 
Because you can't kill him unless you take out the, the phylacteries. How would Zacharias feel about having nine phylacteries? Sure. So if, you, if, if, if Zacharias had multiple phylacteries, could you choose which one to revive at? Maybe. I want to resurrect at phylactery four! <laughs> Too bad, you got phylactery five. God damn it, that was in TNCM. <laughs> you know, you know, Zacharias, would you want to go to Taipei? I should, I should probably go there. It's a really good vacation spot, as proved by this campaign. I'm or sure just pick just up the phylactery now. and walk into the ocean. You know, put it in a cave deep, deep in some, you know, in a trench somewhere. At this point, the only real place, like, naturally that could kill Zacharias is, like, the center of the Earth. The plane, the plane of fire, sun. or the sun would have a fun job at it. Yeah, you know. That... Well, you can just destroy, I mean, you can hack his body to pieces, but... As long as the flector is intact, is Well, hacking a body wouldn't really work. You're being crushed by a magical earthquake would, but... True. Mm. True. True. The point is, you have, like, damage reaction against everything with bludgeoning, so it's kind of difficult. Yeah. You're just... Zacharias is just mad at also, this point. Also, also, other things that Zacharias can't accidentally do, if Zacharias is ever in the kitchen, he can never cut his fingers with the cut... cut cutting. <laughs> Damn it! I wish I was Zacharias he, when he, I cut he my. Could, he could never like poison. Off. Poison ivy can't annoy him because it can't pierce his skin. Yeah. There's like there's like so many like day to day problems that you run into. Like he can't stub his. He can't get hurt by stubbing his toe because it's not magical. Oh, so I hate to stubbing my toe. I mean, being a lich is just so convenient. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I would say on my point of damage reduction. Damage reduction like solves so many problems. Like you physically cannot get hurt by this. Oh, the the downside, so of course, is uh, being a lich is that you need to be criminally insane. That's not that hard. I mean, come on. Do you need to be insane or just desperate? I give me. If you, not preclude the other. if you are unlucky enough to stub your toe four times every day for your entire life, would you? Would you go lich? <laughs> that drives me to lichdom is stubbing my toe. For four times every day for your entire life. I mean, that sounds like a gnome reason to get become a lich. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like t uh, I feel like looking into lichdom every time I stub my toe. Mm -hmm. no, I don't stub my toe that often. So, lichdom's the answer. It is the answer. <laughs> Just gonna have I think like... you have a personal problem looking into that then. <laughs> do I still have that? Do I still have the PDF I sent all of you a while back? Do you... How do you become real uh, real life lich? <laughs> Well, you know, I, the How I do, Wiki I, Guide. I, 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 do, I, only I, do know. Remember, I do remember seeing a Yahoo answer saying, uh, "What is this? What is a spell to become a mermaid?" Yeah, I've seen I, that. Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, I, uh, I do recall a uh, a breakdown I saw, and so I, I know of uh, one person in history who has uh, been claimed to be a lich at least. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? Did he succeed? Uh, it was Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw it was actually fun. I saw like a breakdown and some, some like 4chan or something was like, well, was Jesus a zombie or a vampire? And I was like discussing it back and forth. It was like, no, he was a lich, clearly. And then like, <laughs> give the reasons for it. I, was, I, I that gave can, me a chuckle. Can, can you argue that he wasn't a lich? <laughs> you can't yeah. prove he wasn't. That, that's how religion's based, though, isn't it? <laughs> but then if, if you just say Jesus you was can. a lich, and they're like, prove it. So prove me wrong. Uh, and then that, and that's when everyone stops and thinks for a moment. Yeah, they just kind of stop. And, uh, uh, I think you know. I think we can all agree that Jesus was a lich. Yeah, Jesus was a lich. There we go. That's the answer. To there was a higher likelihood he was a lich than not a lich. <laughs> makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> and and uh, the tomb wasn't just a tomb. It was actually where he put his phylactery. Yeah, that's where he reformed. And it just took some time. It wasn't yeah, instantaneous. Yeah, it, took it, took, it took a few days. It takes a few days. You've, yeah. you've, you've read the rules. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus was a divine lich. Yeah, divine lich. Divine lich, go. You know, you know, Pathfinder has no rule about saying you can't be a um, divine lich. That's true. One was a divine lich. It doesn't say that uh, you, I even you think, have to be evil, I even right? I even think divine lichdom is quite common, well, common, but it's 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 not unheard of if you like a powerful worshipper of like Ugathoya or yeah, a, a, a lot a lot of her most powerful clerics become liches because it's going or they become liches or vampires generally. Yeah. So, is she? No, Orcus actually exists also. 
Orcus does exist, though I don't want I don't like speaking about Orcus because he disturbs me. <laughs> he does he doesn't come up that much in Pathfinder though. He's way more a D and D bad bad guy. He still disturbs me. Because, you know, problems. He's not my a very nice person, I would tell you. <laughs> my favorite lich in D and D lore is Sas Tam, the uh, the ruler of uh, of Thay. Which is uh, something, you know, again, I uh, might aspire to, yes. Right. A, a majocracy. I need to go to bed. Are okay. you sure you wish to quit? Yeah, I've also forgot about um, OBS, so this video is two hours long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know pe people, like, people like the after talk. They do. I so. break it up, so at oh, least... Fuck that. <laughs> so I, like I will to... note, I think we, have more, we might have more after talk than session. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. this point. I, you it just might takes break two. it up to say, like, alright, the session ends at this point I, in time. I think ends. I stopped it around... I think I restarted okay. somewhere in there. I don't know. We've been talking for a while. If you're still watching... Congrats. At this point, congrats, and um, give yourself uh, 20 oh, out of your whole points. Why are you still... Yeah, why are you still... But Why? <laughs> Uh, not, not even my brain who came up with like all these characters which uh, yeah, but, <laughs> anyway thank, have you ever listened all. to the Thursday night podcast I have not I have so many podcasts I listen to already <laughs> um, also something for, something for chat that came up uh, this also might be something you want to list to um, possibly in the description of the video out of right, yeah, yeah. this which was the PDF uh, which showed the recent family tree for the art guns alright oh. I'll, I'll ask you uh, I'll ask I that later. Like, the hell did I store this? There it is. Yeah, you can oh. post it in. Uh, you can post it in, in in Skype. So maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have been killed. So so would actually the Empress could she point out like? Yes. She was oh, referring, you... referring to the two missing in actions uh, on her level. You you need to um amend this. Kalisha and Miranda. Or yes, those two. Those two when. Just they went. They went missing. You, you need to. Um. You need to amend this now. Why? Because William is marked as missing in action. No, because Varian is a al is alive on this. <laughs> but good we point. got that bastard killed. That is a good <laughs> point. I will amend this. <laughs> he uh, did. Poor Varian. <laughs> let me let me let me find my to my formatting tool and find the recolor. You fucked him up. <laughs> there we go. Varian is now marked as dead in my end. I will update this on the. On the, onto the global system. So this is how far back the whole thing goes, as far as we know. I, I assume oh, this, Arthur Arklan wasn't. Arthur Arklan isn't the first. Uh, this is this is going back as far as the general record. Sure. Right. You you can you can keep searching back, but it's as far as like the general record would go. I would, we don't need more than this anyway. No. Like you don't generally don't need to go back further than four generations. I would like to look into to sort of. Try to corroborate some of her story. Like, uh, yeah, she she was under. She she is speaking truth as far as we as we can tell it. You know, she as as far as she she believes she is telling the truth at least. Yeah. Um, um Valenda, Erolda's, uh, mum, dad, um, is missing. Uh, uh, Valenda. So. They well, could, I mean, she could be alive. She, 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 if she's still alive, she is very, very old at this point. Yeah. But then, the new lady. Because no body was found, they presume dead, but they don't know. She, she yeah. was actually Madame Scarlet. Actually, Madame Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never, you never found out Madame Scarlet's last name. It's true. Do we know how many of these died a natural death or like. <laughs> um, not off the top of your heads, no. Oh. We'll have to look into that. But again, that's for next session, and I'm gonna go because I'm tired. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I'm gonna end the stream here as well. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Great. And as always. join us next time. For more hell breaking shit. For for more for more more stuff. Yeah. And possibly the destruction of us. Well, I think. I, I don't. I don't think you guys are the ones who like you to die next session. No. It could be. It could be. You but... always have an option to die. There is. You know, we could just piss off all the guards enough outside that they all charge. They in. can't get in right now, and you know that. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Oh well.
uh, stream is ending. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Good night. Bye.